Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. We have our Creighton V3 in front of us. My quest to upgrade it to a V4 continues. Uh, if you watch the previous videos, we did one for the chassis brace with the top plate. Then we had another video for the rear chassis brace with the aluminum spacers. Then we had another one for the rear wing mount from RPM with the wing spacers in red. That's not, you don't really need to put them, they're right here. And we have another video, the RPM rear uh, skid plate to prevent some scratching on your chassis. But the most important that we have today is the center brace from the V4 that we're going to install on our V3 today. The only thing that's missing here is 25 mil from a correctly M4 screws. I have cap heads, 35 mil, hoping this works. They didn't have that in stock at my local hub shop, but they had the rest. The center brace uh, is ARA320503. The physical mount ARA320500. The ball cup balls ARA320501. We have the screws uh, ARA724530. We have the uh, nylon nuts ARA 715005. And unfortunately, I do not have the part number. For the uh, these screws that I'm missing. Um, if you do go take a look at the book, it will show you exactly which one we're talking about about here. I'll try to find and put it in the uh, description in the bottom. Um, but yeah. Let's start. Unfortunately, I need to dismantle the front end. I could have done this at the same time that I did the, uh, <laughs> the front brace. But I, I did not. But it's not, the front is not hard to dismantle at all. If you didn't see those videos, I would suggest go check them out. But it, it's not hard to do. Because we need to install this. And this replaces this brace right here. It's not something you can remove a couple of screws. This is bolted underneath. And then you need to dismantle this back one here. That's part of the physical frame. To install this one. Then we'll need to remove our, uh, our wing. Let's do the easiest part here. What we'll need to do... Now you got to remember on your physical uh, A-arms here, I'll try to zoom in. You do have some spacers. I'll zoom out and I'll remove them. Your spacers here. There's two on each side. Don't forget not to lose these. Because if you lose them, it's not major. You'll just have a little bit of a... See your arm moves up and down. That's fine. I'm not going to unscrew these completely. Because you don't need to. As long as you have enough to be able to just loosen in the back here, you're fine. We 
we want to hold the, the center brace. Remove this one here. And now we have two more, or two mil. Put that aside. Now we'll be able to remove this. We flip it, flip it. There is washers, kind of washers inside. Uh, for some reason, one of mine just wants to go come out constantly. The other one's right here. We'll need to transfer these to these guys here. Oh, we may not need to. No, we don't need to. Nice. We're going to unscrew the middle one. And this will come off by itself. We don't need to remove the two other screws make sure these two were tightened the one wasn't but let's turn around and grab this one put it where it needs to be and bolt it the middle now it holds itself now we don't need to put these back. We'll keep it with the brace. If I ever decide to unmodify this version, but I doubt that. Now let's make sure everything's clean here. Reinstall it. Give it a little bit of a left tap. And sorry if you hear a lot of uh, noisy kind of a fan in the background. I'm charging batteries right now. Okay, let's rebolt this. Now, the two front ones, I'm not sure, but I might need to change the screws. May not be long enough. Uh, I'm going to check something here. It should be fine. The same, the plate is the same thickness. Our front one is done. Let's jump to the rear one. We'll need to remove this tire to have better access to the screws. Again, we'll use the tire itself as a stand. And let's remove the middle screw here. Last time, this gave me some problems. Take your spacers aside. And what I, well, what I like to do is put them with the screw itself they go with and put it aside. Where's our mount? Right here. I think I might need to remove the wing to be able to have a better access. Go. 
And we have our wing off. Super easy. Okay, two more screws. You'll notice on each side, they're right there. Those aside, this pops off and this takes its place. Reuse the same screws again. Don't over tighten these because you might strip your plastic. And if you do, I do have a video how to fix strip screws. Super easy with CA. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna wait before reinstalling my rear wing. To be able to have more room here, I don't have the physical wing. Ooh, don't have the wing in my in my way. These will only need two of them. With the swivel balls inside. Keep the other ones aside. We'll need two of these here too. And definitely need this bar. Put that aside. And we will need to four mil nut. Those nuts will go with these screws here that I hope they should be long enough. They should, they should be more than sufficient. Yeah, they are, but I don't know why they say like a 25 mil. This is, you don't need a 25 mil. These are way too long. I'll put the brace and I'll find the correct screws. You even, they don't even have nuts. No, they're pre-threaded. I, I don't know what to say. But what we'll need to do is pop these guys inside of here. You could do it with long nose. Uh, there's a couple of tools you could physically use. I do have a tool for balls. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Uh, Help me pop them in. But you, like I said, you can use long nose. It works very, very well. And then what I like to do is grab a screwdriver, insert it. And the tip of these guys here, you can insert a screwdriver. I'm not sure if it's a 2.5. Yeah, 2.5, you'll need to screw into this. I'll use the drill. You'll need, you don't need to go all the way in. I would go half. And the rest should be able to insert in the bar. The center bar. Okay. 
And once that's done, you'll be able to screw it in the bar. There you go. Same thing for the other one. Now, the other thing I did not check. And this for sure will need to be straight ish. That's not straight at all. And we do have one of our batteries that's ready. You can take both screwdrivers and basically tighten it until it's straight. That's the only thing I don't like when you don't have fine adjustment. Is I might need to cut these out. Yep. Grab the snips. And I'm just going to remove them completely. The cross. No more. Do it on both. Yeah, they're gone. That one's really gone. It's gone somewhere in the truck. I don't know where. But that doesn't matter. Yes, I do have a battery ready. We're going to insert our bar. Okay. First problem. This is in our way. I'm guessing this needs to be changed too. That's not cool. I didn't see that. I'll go check and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Basically, you didn't notice I even left. <laughs> what I end up doing here is the cross braces, I cut the middle and I removed them completely. It is a different part. For some reason right now, I Arma website doesn't want to cooperate with, cooperate with me. Uh, I just removed the bottom one, left the top one. This is solid enough to pick the truck up and it's there too. If you do flip it, it's just like a brace at the same time. Don't really care. Uh, and the bar is in, if you can see. Like I said, I did not have the correct screws. These are four mil stainless. I did put the nut on the other side just for fun. Don't really need it. But probably what I'm going to end up doing, I'll be honest, with you, these, they, they're going to stay there. They do work. They'll do the job. I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to reinstall my rear, rear, rear wing. Take these two screws out. Now, the only thing I can see here, not having that. Yeah, okay. That will affect my rear wing. I'll need to remove the nut. And my screw might be too big or too long, should I say? T 
too many drills. Yeah. I'll need to cut her down or find a shorter one that I don't have. But these are stainless. They're easy to cut. I'll go cut it and insert it where she needs to be. Okay. Cut her down. Now she's perfect. Gonna reinstall her wing. Put the back screws in. Normally I don't use the drill to do this for the back one, but I'll go a little bit faster because this is getting a long video okay now I'm gonna reinstall the other one my bolt should still be where it needs to be Don't want to go too, too strong. Okay, grab our small spacer. Insert it first. Insert our bolt. Insert our other spacer. Okay, here's the drill. It is extremely tight. And here we go. Make sure it doesn't interfere for a brace. It doesn't. And look at it. Make sure it is straight. It is. Put our wheel back on. And there you go. This is how you convert your V3 into a V4 with the center brace. Now, you don't need to do these parts here. The chassis brace, if you don't want to, you can go just this. This will stiffen up the, a lot compared to the stock one. Now there is, usually when I grab the re rear wing mount and kind of fold it, you saw it, you saw it flex. Now there's no more flex into it. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. And that like button. I do appreciate that one too. And it's still free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.